first of all for coming out today. Um, I think standing here on the stage, it, it looks absolutely fantastic and to see this kind of support really means so much to us. Um, now I'm one of the older guys on the team, not the oldest. <laughs> Uh, so I'm not really into social media, but I just thought, you know, for the sake of this event, I see a lot of flashes going off, a lot of cameras, so maybe we can just get one selfie with all of you in the background. So I'm going to st stand on stage, so if you guys can just go crazy for one minute, and let me take that. So, okay, go now, go crazy. You know, that? you know you're going to have to tag everybody on that photo. <laughs> What's tag? <laughs> uh, I suppose you can go onto, uh, onto the SA Rugby handle and Brian Banner's Twitter and Instagram handle. You'll have it on there uh, in no time. I think that's what you call it, handles and stuff. Um, but it's always such a special occasion to, uh, to come to an event like this. Uh, you know, for, for a lot of us, it's, you know, to play for South Africa and to play for the Springboks is, is the thing that we've been dreaming about our, our, our whole lives. Um, and I think we need to congratulate those guys that are making their debut at the World Cup and receiving their, their, their caps for the first time. So, well done to all of them. <laughs> also, uh, you know, like... Uh, like Mr. Ricci mentioned, uh, you know, I think it's also a very special occasion for, for Skulk and for Victor making their, making their fourth appearances at a World Cup. So I think an outstanding. Uh, okay. what, what makes it even more remarkable, Mr. Mayor, that, is that uh, Victor was actually at the opening of this hall in 1870. <laughs> <laughs> And he just said it's great to be back again. <laughs> um, going on to, on to the internet, uh, you know, it was mentioned today, uh, Eastbourne, the sunniest place in the UK, with a staggering average of 34.6 hours of sunshine a week. Oh. Uh, it really is fantastic. Uh, uh, it's a pity we missed out on, on one of those hours today. <laughs> But uh, again, I think a, a, great, a great venue and, and, and what a turnout. Um, you know, as we said, to, to play in the World Cup is, is such a special occasion. Um, you know, and we as, as South Africans, uh, we know the responsibility that goes with that. Uh, for us, playing for the Springboks, playing in a, in a platform like a World Cup is, is so much more than rugby. You know, for, for us, it's about building our nation. For us, it's, it's creating unity. And for us as a team, it's about uh, getting to know the community, getting involved everywhere that we go. You know, we've only been here you know, almost, almost two days, but already all the people that we've been in contact with have been so helpful in whatever they do. And we're just so grateful that all of you have come out today to, to, to welcome us, first of all. You know, the people from Eastbourne and Brighton, uh, from Birmingham that came down, from Newcastle that came down, the same from Lensbury, and hopefully we can make it another three weeks in London. But, um, you know, rugby is special, and, and our responsibility is to get involved with the community, get involved with, you know, everything that goes on in this World Cup, uh, expand the brand of rugby throughout the world, and make rugby a brand that is played all over the world, because that is definitely our responsibility, but also to enjoy every single step of the way. Um, you know, the, the World in Union song says that uh, there's a winner in all of us, but unfortunately there's only one winner of this competition, and that's certainly our goal as well. So, um, you know, we'll be going to win, to win this, but we'll also be able to hopefully last uh, or, or keep uh, memories that will last us for a lifetime. Make new friends, see new places, hopefully make a difference in people's lives. And, uh, you know, if the cheer on the cake can be to bring the cup back home, then I think we'll be ticking all those boxes. Interestingly enough, uh, I also read about uh, Beachy Head, uh, the lovely sites at Beachy Head. And on a lighter note, it also being um, quite high from a suicide rate. You know. <laughs> um, so if we do not win the cup, you might see some of us back. <laughs> um, but just in short, thank you very much to the hosting union in England. Uh, I think it's